my notes. I'm a widow, I'm a single mother, I have a sick child, and I've been running my business all day and had to couldn't prepare my notes. Maybe you know who you are. Sure. I am a resident of Marstown. I am Marissa Spagnoletti, uh, the widow of the beloved Maurice J. Spagnoletti. I started my foundation out of my love for Morristown Pediatric Hospital two years ago. My daughter has kidney problems and receives all her care from Dr. John Connor. May I have a spelling of your last name, please? S P A G N O L E T T I. Thank you, ma'am. And I opened my first boutique again out of my love for Dr. Connor and this town on South Street one year ago. Lucy's Gift Boutique opened. 100% of our net profits go to local charity in memory of my husband, who I believe died a hero. I've invested the money into this incredible company. I have not received a penny back. And after being on the NBC Today show, just opened my second location up the road in Panera Bread on Columbia Turnpike. I now see the future so bright. We will be in every major city in this country with our charity missions. I am appalled at your ordinance. It is so unfair and unjust. I have McCarter in English who represents me on numerous form form levels looking at just the fact that it's unconstitutional. But quickly, since I only have five minutes, I will tell you that you're going to destroy my little charity. <coughs> Number one, okay, I want you to know that this is an issue that should be dealt with at the statewide level. The current situation where there's a patchwork of local ordinances that do not apply uniformly around the state will cause much burden, especially to my company. It is simply unfair and will not allow us to survive and grow. Now, any business operating or choosing to come to this amazing town is just not going to come. Morristown will be on e unequal footing with their competitors. And I wonder if, look at the news, ABC, NBC, Today Show, Business Week, Lucy's Gift. In the last six weeks, we are unusually so slow. We have created South and Elm partnership, and we're trying to figure out what's going on. It may be this. The lack of uniformity statewide is a concern in the legislature. Presently pending before the New Jersey Senate is a Bill 488, and before the Assembly is 2875, where these proposed bills will prohibit towns from doing exactly what Morristown seeks to do. Thirdly, where, where is there proof? I've read your 38 pages, and so has McCarter, your national statistics. Whereas, as he commented, is there proof about this real need in Morristown? I employ 15 part-time employees in one year. Every one of them are struggling. This is their third or fourth job. I have one woman who works for me just on Saturday for four hours. She doesn't need your paid time off. She needs a job. And I simply cannot afford this administration, the payroll costs, $10,000 by the time you implement it. Excuse me, guys. I didn't know about this. Again, I'm a widow. I'm single. My daughter's often in the hospital. I don't come to these meetings. I'm too busy, and I'm not wealthy. I put the seed money in because I couldn't handle my job in New York anymore because last year my daughter was out 29 days. So there's no sick days for me. I have 15 employees, but I know that my company is going to survive. Maybe not in Morristown. <coughs> Shame on Morristown. Boy, you didn't think we'd figure out. You have exempted your own employees from this paid leave ordinance. Hmm. If people coming to work sick is a real concern in Mars counting, warranting such special legal requirements, why are you not doing this for your own employees? Oh, and I hope some of the media I invited, it was very last minute, are here. But you can be assured that we will get the word out. Beyond the cost of providing paid sick leave benefit, the town has not considered the administrative burden that you are putting on our small businesses. Record keeping. Let's see. Um, how many businesses in Hope Morristown are not paying their employees on the books? Didn't come here tonight because they said, Marissa, this doesn't affect us. It's not gonna, we don't pay our employees on the books. They're not going to get this benefit. So the very benefit of the people that you seek to care for, you will ignore. And let me tell you something about me. I will put the high beams from heaven 
on Morristown and go out myself and find every undocumented worker because every single one of my employees is on the books and I do everything fair, including helping some of them with their cell phone bills, for food for their family, because I understand poverty. And by the way, this past October, the mayor knows Lucy's gift came in ninth, ninth place for raising money for the soup kitchen, and they're not a recipient. Yeah, I could go. Minute. You have one minute remaining. Yeah. Well, I could be here all night, but I am imploring on you as a mother, as a widow, as someone who loves this town. My daughter has had two surgeries since my husband died. To please reconsider and start start really helping women-owned businesses. Everybody says they do. Why didn't I know about this? Why are all these council members, except one or two women, why don't you listen to single women in this community who really need help, like me? Because this paid leave that you're offering, you can interview every single one of my 15 employees. They don't want it if they're not going to have their job in one year at Lucy's Gift. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Ms. Spagnoletti.